I see the kids that I teach, the whole school, I see them as mine, they are part of me. My students are my classmates. We love ourselves. There is a saying that brightens the corner where you are. Well, today our lenses have caught a teacher who is brightening the little corner where she is. And Year News has traveled all the way to Kubasi in Ejisu, the Ashanti region of Ghana, to interact with Naomi Aome, a teacher who is brightening the corner where she is. Before we bring you the conversation with her, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms. Also, if there is any peculiar story we could cover, feel free to write to us. My name is Philip Abutiati. This is Faces of Ghana on ENTV. Tell us about yourself. My name is Naomi Aome. I'm from a family of five. I'm the fourth. I started um, basic school at Kodiabe. That's where I actually come from, in the greater Accra region, close to Dodoa. And then I continued in the Eastern region, where my dad is. And I completed junior high school at Great Quality International School in the Ashanti region. And then I went to, I attended SHS at um, Efijasi Senior High School. What, what course did you read in SHS? General Arts. Yeah. And then I went to St. Louis College of Education. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So for, for how long now have you been teaching? When did you complete St. Louis? 2017. So about two years now. Yes, one year, actually one year, six months. Growing up, did you always want to be a teacher or you became a teacher by accident? Not at all. I have always wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. Why, why did you want to be a teacher? I just love being around children. Yeah. Now let's talk about what you do. Yeah, you spend your spare time um, mending and then patching the uniforms of your kids. Uh, how, why did you decide to do that? I see the kids that I teach, the whole school, I see them as mine, they are part of me. They are like children to me, so I don't see the reason why I have the machine at home and I can sew, so why don't I do it for them? Yeah. Did you at any point learn how to design or how to sew? Yes, please. During college, um, that was during vacations at college, yeah, in college. So you learned how to sew pattern? Yes, please. Though I'm not done, I'm not done, I've not graduated yet. I'm still an apprentice, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to graduate, maybe next year. Right now I'm a bit tight. What, aside um, patching the uniform for your kids, I've, I realize that you teach them um, needleworks as well. Why, why is that so? There are certain things they have to do it for themselves, like sewing, stitching your own button. I can't be going to class, from class to class, doing that for them. And it's something I know they can do. So I decided to add certain things so that they will have something doing. It, will be, it wouldn't be like I'm always doing it for them. The kids, how do you think they feel about you? They feel really good. Like after sewing for them, the kind of words they'll be saying, Madame Bunya, Minshira, and those stuff, it's, it's just, it's encouraging, yeah. Your colleague teachers, I'm sure they are teachers elsewhere, in other schools, other parts of the country. What do you have to tell them? Just do your best. The little you can do. You might see it to be little, but the kids will really appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, are you on social media? Maybe somebody wants to reach out to you because when we first carried the story, I've been reading some of the comments and people are asking for your contact. Some want to reach you and then help you if in case someone wants to reach you how how can the person reach you i'm on facebook with the same name naomi aome naomi is a w o m e h and then i'm on whatsapp but <laughs> that i think 
Facebook, we can chat over there. So that would be okay. I'm sure. So, in case somebody wants to help you, what are some of the resources you need? In what ways do you think um, people can help? Someone, um, a colleague teacher, contacted me in a different school in a different district that they have similar problem in those areas. She wish she could help the kids, but she doesn't know how to sew. So I think that if if I get machines, I can't just be carrying this one everywhere I go. I told her that I will arrange with her so that she gather the torn uniforms, maybe on Friday. Then Saturday, one of the days, I'll, I'll just try and go and do the tuition so that Sunday or Monday, she can do the uniforms to the kids. So I will just wish I get one or two, three, four machines. Because I know there are schools and uh, places where they really need the parents. Some of the uniforms are sports. It only needs some hand and you are good to go again. We don't need new uniforms, but just a little patch in there. And the person is good to come to school. And it's really good to patch for them. See, some, some of the kids have their armpits stone. And when they raise their hands to answer questions in class, their colleagues will be putting their fingers inside the torn part. So the next question you put up, the person knows the answer, but because they, that place is torn, he wouldn't raise the hand to say anything and that's really dampening their confidence yeah now let's talk about your career as a teacher in the next few years let's say five ten fifteen years what different thing do you think you'll bring on board what is that big thing that you will do you know to help your your kids i can see you really love them yeah um we just so when we do need the work and some of them not the lower class, the upper class, they can sew for themselves. We even made a full dress out of the needlework. So it will get to a time, I know that I wouldn't be sewing for them. Maybe I might not be sewing for them, but they can use the needlework um, experience that they have to patch some of their own uniforms. So I will encourage teachers, people who, teachers who are good in the needlework to teach the children, yeah. Now, what do you have to tell your kids? We are about wrapping up, but what do you have to tell your students and their parents? My students are my classmates. We love ourselves, so they should let's just let's keep the love and then keep learning. Right, so this has been Faces of Ghana. We are here at Kubase in Ejisu to speak to. Naomi Aome, a teacher here at the Okubasi ME Primary School who doubles as a community fashion designer and spends her leisure time sewing and patching the school uniforms of her pupils. She also, as her own initiative, teaches the children needleworks. Um, this is Yen TV. My name is Philip Abutia. If there is any peculiar story such as the story of Naomi that we could cover, always feel free to write to us, follow us across all the social media platforms, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you again on another edition of the show.